Good morning, and thank you for coming this morning for the Commercial Retention and Redevelopment Program. I am Misty Gentry, Assistant City Manager, and I do want to say on behalf of our City Manager, Teresa Wilson, who could not be here, that we're glad you're here, we're excited about this program, and we welcome you to ask questions and learn more. I will be real brief. I do want to talk about the facility that we're located in. You may remember in October of 2017, we officially opened this facility. It's the city's newest water and waste wastewater maintenance facility. We operate um, our entire system really out of this building and all of the guys who work out in the field, the guys and gals who work out in the field to maintain our water and sewer system start in this building every morning and they end at night. Um, we have about 250 to 300 employees that come here every day to report to work and go out and do their jobs. This is a $14 million LEED certified facility. It is gold certified. So if you have not toured it yet, we welcome you to come back and would love to see you on a tour of our facility and this is an example of really what the city's doing these days. So we're pr very proud to be here. This morning we will talk about specific program initiatives and you will hear from our mayor and Councilman Howard Duvall to talk about that as well as our OBO staff. Thank you, Missy. And um, I do want to uh, restate how proud we are of the Columbia Water Operations Center, and for those of you who may not have had the opportunity to, to cover comprehensively what's happening uh, happened in this space, I would encourage you uh, to do so. Uh, this building is LEED Gold Certified. Um, it is a classic example of what a community can do when it comes together. Uh, this building, as, as many of you may remember, if you rode past on a regular base, basis, old car dealership lay fallow for years, and uh, the community came together uh, to make sure there was some really good things happening here. 250 uh, uh, tax-paying, hard-working citizens coming through here every single morning. The largest green roof uh, in the city. Rain gardens, porous pavement to help deal with the flooding that uh, communities all across uh, the, the, the country are, are dealing with right now. A building that, that shows you can, you, can, you can put new life in, into, into old space. And, and this, this space, of course, is not just for uh, press conferences, but can be used for community purposes as well, hold 300 people. So it's a, it's a wonderful example of what a community can do uh, when it comes together. So we're very proud uh, of this space and the contribution it's making to the West Beltline Corridor and the great neighborhoods that surround us. Uh, the uh, wonderful work of our Office of Business, of Opportun business Opportunities uh, over the last several years, particularly with this facade program, uh, is another great example of what you can do to strategically use uh, public investment to try and leverage up significant private sector investment. Over the last several years, we've seen uh, $993,000 uh, of public money help leverage up over six, almost six and a half million dollars of private sector capital uh, on North Main Street, on Main Street proper, and over here in the east central part of, of town, improving, taking buildings that have seen better days and helping them uh, look a whole lot better, function a whole lot better, understand that people and capital are attracted uh, to places that are attractive. And, and, and we're doing it and helping elevate the entire community uh, in the, in, at the same time. So we're talking about a combined total of public and private investment of $7.4 million. Uh, a lot of other great things are happening here all across the community. Uh, in this part of town, uh, the Columbia Housing Development Corporation has received funding uh, uh, to uh, acquire and demolish a whole lot of uh, uh, substandard housing uh, that, that has been vacant for a long time, helping clear them up so that the wonderful neighborhoods over here, Belvedere, Booker, Washington Heights, and others, uh, we, we expect to, to, to demolish old houses and build new homes over here for families that want to call Columbia home. If you ride up the 5,000 block of Farrow Road, uh, you'll see that um, we've already started construction on the Busby Street uh, project. Um, at that uh, location, we're going to have a community center. Uh, uh, police department substation, outdoor play area, walking trails uh, for seniors and, and for young people uh, alike. Uh, for some years, the community's had a facility of this type at the top of its uh, wish list. And um, I'm so thankful, along with Mr. Duvall, uh, Mr. Davis, uh, Rev. McDowell, and, and Ms. Devine, and, and Mr. Rickman, um, all of us to come together to make this happen for this residence. And thank, so thankful for our staff for sticking it through and making sure that this remain at the top of the priority list. Uh, we expect this um, all to come together and, and this facility be open to the public later this year. 
Uh, and of course, um, uh, many of you have also heard about the fantastic large project currently uh, coming together uh, just um, to the uh, west of us. Um, we're we're going to determine all, all the final components, but the, the goal is to uh, have a consumer-owned grocery store uh, cooperative, a food hub, an urban farm, and a large recreation area, again, including walking trails and, and, and ball fields, uh, the, the types of, of, of public investments that, that, that lead to a much higher quality of life and help you grow a city the way it's supposed to grow, a city for all people. So um, we're just thankful uh, for, the, for the community vision and even more thankful for our incredible uh, staff. We have uh, great city departments helping lead these uh, various initiatives, Office of Business Opportunities, uh, uh, Jerry Lynn and, 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 and Melissa, uh, as, as they um, uh, and their entire team as they implement uh, these most, this most recent program to help our small uh, businesses with financial assistance to help ensure that they remain in business and help fulfill the needs of our uh, residents in the surrounding communities. So I want to thank you all for being here. That was a lot of information. Uh, I want to um, ask my, my, my friend and our, our at-large city councilman, Howard Duvall, to take the microphone. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor, it was just about two years ago that uh, two rookies on your city council uh, Councilman McDowell and Duvall got an invitation from Jerry Lynn to get on a bus to come see the facade programs. And uh, I was amazed at what she showed us. Most of those projects were along Two Nights Road, but as we rode up and got out of the bus and looked at what a small amount of public money had done to rehabilitate the facades of these buildings and make to the, the two notch car to more attractive for other businesses. I was pleased at how the city of Columbia was leading with public private partnerships uh, that benefited all of the citizens of Columbia. I know that uh, Councilman McDowell was very pleased because he has been a big proponent of continuing this and we're going in not only on continuing on two notch road but we'll do Farrell Road with, with this new round of grants. By the time these projects come to council, it's taken years of work for other people to develop what we're going to do with the little bit of money that, that, that are allocated for the Office of, of Business Opportunity. And they get maximum results from a minimum amount of public dollars, which is very good for all the taxpaying citizens of Columbia. Everyone deserves good water and sewer, and we're in a building now that reflects the, the pride that we have in our water and sewer systems, but we also deserve good police and fire service, streets and parks and businesses, both large and small, which offer jobs that generate the necessary income to enrich our lives. Several more projects are in the creative and planning stages, and we all can look forward to hearing about those as they are finalized and shared with us on the council in the near future. Finally, it is my pleasure to introduce Jerry Lynn Hall of the Office of Business Opportunities as she and others share today their recent success along Two Notch Road and the anticipated achievement of this lady's OBO initiative. Jerry Lynn. Good morning, I am Jerry Lynn Hall with the Office of Business Opportunities. And before we jump into what we've got coming up, we wanna tell you about how we finished up on Two Notch Road. Uh, the program was done in two phases. Uh, it ran basically along two notch from <coughs> Providence Hospital out to Cushman Drive, where Forest Acres picks up. Um, in that uh, area, we did a total of 16 forgivable loan projects and two loans. We had a combined total public investment from both phases of $214,750 combined private investment of $60,650 for a total program initiative of $275,000 and uh, $275,400. Um, again, we did over uh, 16 projects and they ranged uh, from the 1600 block all the way up to the 3200 block of two notch. I want to take us right into the commercial retention and redevelopment program. That is what we are really here um, about today. Uh, this uh, program was able to combine in a timely manner not only the facade improvement program but the commercial loan program. We are covering Farrow Road from Colonial Drive to West Beltline and on West Beltline we're going from Bailey Street to Brooklyn. 
Uh, the facade improvement program, we have a slate of um, eligible improvement items for the exterior of those buildings. And those are items like um, awnings, tree planting, lighting, masonry, painting, roofing, new um, awnings, uh, windows and doors, and that type of thing. Um, we have up to 15000 on the city's side to put toward any single parcel where there's a commercial building to make improvements. Um, I'm going to have uh, Brett Whiting come up and tell about his portion of the um, uh, loan portion of the program and share with you on that load. My understanding is uh, with the facade program um, that the facade program was an individual program prior to this program. We had the opportunity this time to uh, co-mingle those programs with a commercial loan piece of it. So the facade, you had $15,000 available um, on the commercial loan side. Uh, you had a ten thousand uh, dollar maximum. Uh, the the loan uh, is totally forgivable within a two year period. Uh, there's zero interest. Uh, the rate of the forgiveness is over two years, so it's fifty percent per year that that uh, goes away. The loan funds can be used. Uh, for renovations on buildings, interior or exterior, uh, the purchase of mach machinery, equipment, supplies, materials, etc. Uh, recently, all applicants were received, reviewed, and scored, and our uh, award recipients are on Farrell Road were K Bell Properties, located at 3035 Farrell Road. Kathy's Hair S Styling Salon at 3116 Farrell Road. Uh, 3118 Farrell Road uh, houses uh, Allen's Barbershop. And on West Beltline, Outings Barbershop at 3705 West Beltline. And 3830 West Beltline, where Avatar Essentials is located. We are presently scheduling the closings for these wonderful projects. Construction will be underway at these various locations within one to two weeks. Just look for the, the signs. <laughs> I would now like to introduce the OBO's new director, Melissa Linder, uh, to give closing remarks. Thank you. And thank all of you for being here today. As Brett said, I am the new director for the Office of Business Opportunities. My name is Melissa Lindler. And although I've only been here a short time with the city, it did not take me long to realize the tremendous amount of leadership that we have with our mayor, our city council, and our senior management of the city of Columbia, as well as our staff. Um, it has been a great opportunity for me to see all the great work that's going on in the city. Although when I, before coming to the city, I would drive past, I've lived here all my, all my life, so I would drive down Farrell Road, drive down West Belt Line, and I was like, wow, it looks different here. And I know why now. <laughs> it's these investments that the city has committed to make um, here where we are now, the West Belt Line um, Boulevard, the Farrell Road um, extension, all of these areas. Um, I want to give you a little information for those of you that are not familiar with the Office of Business Opportunities. We have three different divisions in our office. We provide financial assistance, education, technical assistance, advocacy for small businesses, all small businesses, and we also have a division that concentrates on con contractor and supplier diversity. Now this morning you heard about the financial assistance available through our commercial retention and redevelopment program, which is the first time we've ever provided a forgivable $10,000 commercial loan um, as part of this project, as part of our facade project. So we're very, very excited about that partnership. And um, as Brett mentioned, the leveraging of our public dollars through the city's general budget and through the um, CDBG funding. Now, what, uh, West Beltline actually is a border 
or uh, yeah, is a border for the community development's neighborhood revitalization service area. This means that one side of the street is inside the redevelopment area and the other side is not. However, both are within city limits. So it's through the leveraging and the innovation of our OBO staff and of course the leadership of the City of Columbia that we are able to provide revitalization efforts on both sides of the street. Um, <coughs> on um, both sides of the corridor, excuse me. So moving forward, what we would like to do is continue to look at innovative ways that we can partner and utilize our resources, both leveraging our municipal um, dollars as well as our CDBG dollars to look at ways that we can continue to revitalize uh, this area. And I would like um, to also state um, before I leave here, thanks, thanks to the staff, the OBO staff, Jerry Lynn, Thank she's you. been a great resource and she's very, very energetic and she loves this project and thank you so much. As well as Brett, he's also new. He's our new loan director. Um, we also have other staff in the audience that I want to just recognize and say thank you for all the work that you've done. I've inherited a very, very productive and professional staff. Uh, thanks to my predecessor, Tina Herbert. She's done a great job um, with the department and I look forward to continuing that success. Thank you.